Hey, what's going on guys? This is Anthony with TheMovieBlog.com and I'm back here with another video. This time we're going to do a deep dive into a character known as Enchantress. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking I'm going to be talking about the Asgardian sorceress known as Amora. That would be a good guess, but actually I want to take a look at a little bit more obscure character by the name of Sylvie Lushton. Now Sylvie is actually the second person to take on the title of Enchantress after the sorceress Amora and first makes an appearance in Dark Reign Young Avengers number one. Now Dark Reign is a very interesting time in Marvel Comics. It's one of my personal favorite times. It's when Norman Osborn has taken control of the organization known as S.H.I.E.L.D., renamed it Hammer, and has banded and labeled all of the original Avengers members and most superheroes at large as fugitives and pretty much has been hunting them down. Now, like I said, this is a real interesting time in comics. Now, Enchantress is interesting in the fact that she just seemingly popped up out of nowhere, like one day she was just there. And she was fighting alongside a group of superpowered young individuals claiming themselves to be the Young Avengers. Now, this is interesting in a time because there were a bunch of villains running around at the time taking the names of superhero teams and just impersonating them and just running around as those teams. There was a Dark Avengers team, there was a Dark X-Men team and now we're getting a dark Young Avengers team. This is not at all the actual Young Avengers. The Young Avengers are a team made up of Patriot, Wiccan, Hulkling, and more. This particular team is a lot darker in that they have no regard for human life and they show that in their very first appearance when they try to stop a would-be group of robbers and just like kill them and just like take them out without restraint right some one of these guys gets stepped on it's it's pretty harsh it's pretty brutal they didn't have to do all that what immediately stands out in this encounter is the fact that enchantress actually transforms one of the robbers into like a doll now when it comes to like superhero powers like super strength shooting beams from your eyes maybe even super speed those kind of things are a little bit old hat but whenever there's a character that just can pop up and transform one thing into another thing you got to pay attention to that character this team going around impersonating the Young Avengers actually captures the attention of the actual Young Avengers and they decide to roll up on this team and press them and they do the predictable thing, right? They see them and on site it's a fight. Of course, it's the typical comic book trope. We see it all the time. Teams meet up before they even talk. They fight it out and after they've tired each other out, they decide, all right, let's try diplomacy. But before they try diplomacy, it's a straight up Slavonaka, right? Like they break off into one-on-one -on -one fights. And it's interesting because Enchantress immediately gets in a one-on-one -on -one with Wiccan. And Wiccan and her are going back and forth. And then Enchantress has just had enough of this. She just exerts her power and stops the fight immediately. Everybody drops to the floor. And as soon as this happened, Wiccan immediately blurts out like, yo, she's really 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 powerful like you guys don't understand we have to stop this threat forget everything else that's happening this is a problem now wiccan is no pushover right in the mcu wiccan has made his debut and he's only done like little small things but you got to understand his powers are derivatives of wanda the scarlet witch's powers and we've seen what she can do so for him to size enchantress up and say this this is impressive. This is something we got to take notice of. This is an extremely powerful being that he's concerned. Now, Enchantress, Sylvie, is desperate to join an Avengers team for some reason. She's like all about the hype. I believe you, the only reason she's even on this dark young Avengers team is because she wanted to be on any team associated with the Avengers. And it turns out to be true. When the two teams meet again to discuss membership, Sylvie drops the act and immediately shares her secret origin with Wiccan and Hulkland, a secret she didn't even bother to share with her original Dark Avengers team or her boyfriend Melta, and Sylvie explains that she just woke up one day in Broxton, Oklahoma, which also served as a temporary home for Asgard, and she woke up with powers one day. We learn later that this is all true, this is all completely true, and this new enchantress actually got her powers from Loki, the female version. Loki gave her powers as a trap for the Young Avengers team and as someone or something to toy with in order to spread mischief, right? This is like Loki's thing, spreading mischief and lies. So this is like not even surprising. This isn't even a surprising thing that Loki did this. The Young Avengers had no idea initially and they were all set to let Enchantress join the team until they found out the truth and kicked her out the team. 
later during another superhero skirmish another one this time including the full dark avengers roster like everybody's there iron patriots there dark wolverine is there bullseye is hawkeye is there everybody's there and again, Wiccan and Enchantress are going one-on-one -on -one against each other. And Enchantress is like, yo, I really wanted to be on the Avengers team. Why did you guys kick me out? And Wiccan had to say to her, like, listen, you are a trap. <laughs> you have no idea, like, the levels of manipulation that Loki be doing to anybody with an Avengers team name. And you are a trap. We was just trying to give us some time to set up some new spells that'll keep us better protected from whatever it is that Loki has planted inside you. Now, after she learns the truth, you know, after she learns the truth sylvie decides to ally herself kind of again with the young avengers and she displays some serious level of power because during this fight the sentry appears and if you guys know anything about the sentry he's like marvel superman the power this man possesses it took a world breaker hulk to stop right like this man is really 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 strong and wiccan and enchantress team up to do some magical spell to actually not only restrain the sentry, which in itself is a feat, restraining the sentry and then teleporting him away against his will. <sighs> that kind of power. When the fight is over, she teleports her team away. The Young Avengers and the Dark Avengers actual teams are sitting there like, you know what, I don't even feel like fighting no more. They leave and Enchantress just disappears into the sunset. Now, Sylvie continues to exist in the Marvel Comics universe. It's not like she was killed off or anything, but she just rarely ever appears. She's just like a character that never, ever really pops up. She popped up in some Avengers Academy books. It wasn't really notable, but she went back to working again as a villain. Now, some of you guys have already seen the set photos and the rumors of actress Sofia Martino on set in a costume that people are theorizing to either be Lady Loki or the Enchantress. My theory is that she's actually playing the Enchantress and she's just gonna be like a minion that Loki has empowered in his efforts to subvert the efforts of Owen Wilson's character Mobius from the Time Variance Authority. I think Marvel's gonna adapt this character in a very loose way. I don't think they're gonna go literal at all. They do that sometimes, they just take characters and they just change them up at the whim, right? We've seen them do that with the elders of the universe, with Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master, and the way they handled the Collector, they really just sometimes just get a little whimsical with their adaptations. Anyway, that's my theory on this. That's all I got for this video. Do me a favor, if you like this video, please, 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 hit that like button. And if you're new here to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna check you guys later. Peace.